Hey, thank you all for allowing me to be here. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I am Mike Maverick George. I'm the chairman of the Illinois Fire Services Association and the vice president of the International Association of Fire Chiefs uh, Great Lakes Division. Um, I love actually coming to events like this because it's not Springfield and I'm not at the Capitol. So it gives me a chance to say thank you. Uh, to the people who are really making a difference for the citizens of Illinois. Uh, but first off, thank you to the National Fire Sprinkler Association and the National, that's sorry, the Northern Illinois Fire Sprinkler Advisory Board. Um, Tom Leah and Bob Tanucci, they do great work around the state. I mean, you don't see any, any guys out there working harder, pushing uh, this, the benefits of fire sprinklers and home fire sprinklers. I mean, just tremendous work. Thank you, guys. So also, I want to make sure I acknowledge the, uh, the great work that the Illinois Fire Inspectors Association and the Illinois Fire Safety Alliance do. Uh, they do amazing work in advocating uh, for community risk reduction across the state and making our citizens safer. You know, and I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge Russ Sanders, too, with the NFPA. Um, thank you for all the work you do uh, with CRR. And, and most of all, uh, we're here to honor uh, Chief Grubb. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Chief, for your dedication and your vision um, to improve public safety through home fire sprinklers. I mean, you started it all in Illinois. You know, and we have a lot of work to do yet, um, and hopefully we'll get there. And it's going to take all of us to get the message across to the legislature in Springfield that it is time. It is time to update an antiquated fire code and get the ball moving. You know, I mean, how long have sprinklers, you know, home fire sprinklers been mandated in some of the new fire codes? It's been several years now. Yet the state of Illinois is still using a fire code from the year 2000. It's time. So hopefully with all your voices, you know, we can get the message to Springfield that we need to update the fire code and make home fire sprinklers part of the code. So thank you. Uh, this is going to be a great event. 